Mr. Swing, you talked about uh, a good governance for migration. You think that Frontex program from European Union, Union could be a good idea for a correct governance? Uh, Frontex plays uh, an important role in terms of uh, protecting and managing the borders of Europe. Uh, but the Operation Triton that they're about to put in place uh, will not be an adequate replacement for uh, Mare Nostrum because it doesn't have the same mandate, it doesn't patrol the same area, and it doesn't have enough ships, whereas uh, uh, Mare Nostrum was a very robust operation. So the UK uh, decided to not take part to yes. this, to the Frontex uh, program. Is this a mistake in order to a uh, good uh, facing of the problem? Well, I think it's self-evident that if Mare Nostrum saved 150,000 migrants in the course of its existence, that if you take that away, many more migrants will be uh, risking their lives on the high seas. And it seems to me that until you can change the policies to make them more effective, you need an interim solution with the top priority being to save life. Uh, life saving is very important. Uh, and these are people, most of them fleeing conflicts such as Syria or Iraq. They're fleeing political persecution in some countries in the Horn of Africa. And therefore, they need to have an opportunity to make their case, whether they're a refugee, internally displaced person, going to join a family, or they're simply an economic migrant, or they're being trafficked. And you won't be able to examine those options if you don't save their lives first. So finally, can we challenge the immigration issue even in a period of economic crisis like this? I think we have no choice. I mean, many of the people who are trying to come to Europe are not coming to take jobs away from Europeans. There is structural unemployment in Europe and they're primarily coming to do jobs which we call the difficult, dirty and dangerous jobs that nationals in Europe themselves are not going to be attracted to. 